Hey guys, it's Daniel. The following is from Alice in Chains drummer Sean Kinney on Lane Staley's death. This is from Grunge is Dead. Quote, It wasn't a mystery. Lane told me straight up, I'm never coming back. I'm not going to quit doing drugs. I'm going to die like this. This is it. So I'm like the codependent girlfriend. No, no. But I knew that was a fact. It was just horrible. I've lost a lot of friends and put myself in a lot of screwed up situations. The way he looked at me and how he said it, I just knew that he had made his decision. And you can't change people's minds. People buy a record and read a magazine and they think they know you. They come up and give you, you didn't try to help him, you could have saved him. It's like, we did everything. We were as supportive as anyone could be. If somebody doesn't want it, they don't want it. It's not like he was a bitter guy and there was hatred. He just made his decision. A lot of damage had been done. He seemed like he was good with it. I'm not good with it. I'm not good with it today. I never was then. Probably never will be. I quit answering the phone for five or six years. I didn't want that phone call. Let it ring and let the machine get it. That still even sticks with me to this day. Slight phone phobia. It's like, uh uh-oh, bad news. Just hoping that it's never going to happen. Knowing the chances are that it's going to be coming in one day. Ironically, it all went down on April 5th. The same day Kurt died eight years earlier. Just bizarre timing on that. By then, I had started going away from lots of drugs and just started drinking. Huh, like that's any better. I don't crank Alice in Chains albums too much, and I hadn't in a long time for obvious reasons. It's painful, sad, and brings up a lot of stuff. Until we started jamming again with William. It had been long enough. We had dealt with things long enough. For me, it was really therapeutic to go back and go through that. But honestly, I hadn't listened to those records in years. 